Only a black Jesus Christ, a man that looks just like you and I, can redeem his people. Gee, you understand that? Ain't no, listen, if you waiting on this man here to redeem you, or if you're waiting on a puff of smoke with no color at all, because they say Christ have no color. If you're waiting on a Chinese Christ, if you're waiting on an a, 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 a African Christ, an Egyptian Christ, you so-called black man will remain a slave and you're going to die when the true saint's redemption comes. Right. Hey, hey, that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites on the time of the Jews. Let's go to Hebrews uh, 7 and 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. Hey, What you said is heavy, because our people, in order to get salvation, you must acknowledge that your Lord and Savior, the one that's coming down to save you, is a so-called black man according to the Bible. Yes. That's right. Right. You must understand that, coupled with the keeping of the commandments of God. Read. Right. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12. There's no yes. such thing as keeping the commandments without having faith of Jesus Christ. You're not going to get salvation that way. Read. Right. Here is the patience of the saints. Because here's the patience of the saints. Now I'm going to ask you a question, bro. Who are the saints of the Most High God? Bring that out. He says, here are the patience of the saints. Who are the saints of the Most High? Because people will come out and say, everyone is a saint, right? They'll tell you that anyone can be a saint of the Most High God. So who are the saints? What do you, who do you think are the saints? Those who believe truth. Those who believe truth, right? What is the truth? Jesus the black man. Jesus the black man? Read that. Read, give me the saints. Psalms 145. Psalms chapter 148, verse 14. Read it out. He also exalted the horn of his people. He said the horn of his people. The horn of your people, like you keep mentioning, is that Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, is our Lord and Savior. He is our leader. He is the horn of our salvation. Read. The praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. We praise a black Messiah, like the officer was bringing out. Huh? Right? Read. Even of the children of Israel. The children of Israel are the saints, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. So, brother, you said that you are an, uh, from an African-American. You're, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That makes you a saint. Right. You understand? But knowing that you're a saint is just half the battle. Though. Now go to Revelation 14. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Go ahead. Oh, here is the patience of the saints. So the saints of the Most High God, the so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans that do this. Read. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. Like the office was about to show you, you must keep the commandments of God, but I'm going to show you that you are right also. Read. And the faith of Jesus. And the faith of Jesus. What is the faith of Jesus Christ? Is that Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. He's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Well, our people don't learn that today. You understand that? Also, Jesus Christ only came to save his people. Right. Yes, he did not come to save the whole world. Right. So we have faith that Jesus Christ is going to save us from what, though? Give um, Luke chapter 1 and you come back up, officer. Yes, Luke chapter 1, verse 68. So the no. faith of Jesus Christ is very important. If you sit there and say that Christ's color doesn't matter, you will not get salvation. Right. Christ's color matters. Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, the God of this Bible. Is the God of Israel and Israel only. Right. Read. For he has visited and redeemed his people. The only people that need redemption are the Israelites. We are right. the only ones suffering the curses and are being punished by the Most High God for breaking his laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. We are the ones that need redemption. Right. Read. And has raised up in horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. So he raised up the true understanding of Jesus Christ today. He raised up that leader that we are to follow. Not this, not this image right here. That's the image that's been pushed on us since we came over here and docked on these boats here and got us filling up those churches. 
right. and that church over there. Right. And all those different churches there that got us in the condition that we're in now. Right. Raping, robbing, murdery, murdering, self-hatred. All drug abuse, right. drug addiction, unemployment, single parent household, all those things was pushed and is being established and maintained by this image right here. You understand that? We are not taught the true image of Christ. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Read. Which have been since the world began. Go ahead. That we should be saved. This is the salvation that we're looking for. And it's the faith that the saints have. Right. That we should be what? That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. Our enemies are the ones that have us in this captivity today. Right. Based off of our own transgressions against God. Right. So the understanding that Jesus Christ, the so-called black man, and coming back to worshiping him in, in spirit and in truth, See. according to keeping his commandments, and that he is a black man, like you said. Right. So you're 100% right in that. Right. You understand that, Read. And from the hand of all that hate us. Do the people that have us in our condition love us, sir? No. Do the people that brought us over here, that did this to our four parents, love us? Bring it no. Up. Do the people that incarcerate our brothers at phenomenal rates love us? No. Do the people, I'm going to ask you one, just a key question. Do the people that gave us this image of Jesus Christ, do they love us? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. verse again verse 71 verse 71 that we should be saved so brother we need salvation now you go to the christian church we see people pass by they talk about they're saved Bring sanctified and baptized what the hell are you saved from you're still a slave right. you're still in captivity right. you're still in the midst of all them that hate you and that teach you false doctrine right you still hate yourself right, right. so what are you saved from you're not saved until Christ redeems us and puts us back on top of this earth here. Right. Right. You understand that? Read that again. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies and? And from the hand of all that hate us. That is the purpose of Jesus Christ. What you said is 100% right. We must understand that Jesus Christ is a black man and that's who we worship. Right. Let me ask you a question. The Chinese man, Buddha, they worship Buddha, right? What does their God look like? What does Buddha look like, bro? When you see an image of a Buddha statue, does he look like us? Bring it out. Or does he look like them? They're like them. He look just like them, right? Um, the East, the East Indian God, Krishna, with all the arms and the different gods that they worship. Does the East Indian God look like us, or does it look like them? Them. The so-called white man's God. Right. They're Jesus Christ right here. The God that they worship. Does it look like us, or does it look like them? Bring it out. The black man's God now. The God that we worship today falsely. What image of God do we worship? Do we worship the black Christ or the white Christ right now today in the Christian church? White Christ. We, what, what do we do? So why in the world, get Jeremiah 2 verse 11. Bring it out. Why in the world does every other nation image of their God look like them? Bring it out. And the so-called black man doesn't have an image of their God. Bring it out. The white man has a God that looks just like them. Right. The Chinese man has a God that looks just like them. Right. The Arab man has a God that looks just like them. Right. Why in the world is a black man God doesn't exist with a puff of smoke? That color don't matter. Right. Our people are destroyed. Read that, right. Jeremiah 2. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 11. Our people right. better wake the hell up and start worshiping the true image of your God, black man. Right. That's right. Your God looks just like you. Right. That's right. Just like every other nation's false God look like them. Right. Read. Have a nation changed their gods? So the Most High God is asking a question now. Has a nation changed their God? Did the Chinese man ever change their God? Bring it out. Has any other nation changed their God? Read. 
which are yet no gods? And guess what, bro? Buddha is not even a, has no power. Right. Allah has no power. Right. Krishna has no power. Right. Caesar Borgia, white man Jesus, has no power. They're idols. Right. Right. That's right. They are not gods. Right. Right. But my people. But God's people. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, read, have changed their glory. Has changed their glory. The so-called black man doesn't want to identify themselves with a black god. Right. They feel like saying that their god looks like them is racist. Bring it out. True racism stems and, it, and true racism oppresses another people based off of their color. You can't be racist for loving yourself. Right. You can't be racist for loving your people. You understand that? But he says, my people did what? But my people have changed their glory. The most High God's people, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, you change your glory to what? For that which doeth not profit. For this here. And has this image here profited us since we've been over here? Yeah. Nope. Has this image of Caesar Borgia and that church right there and all those different churches profited our people? Jesus. Are we still struggling out on drugs? Murdering each other and taking a damn bus everywhere we go. Bring it, out. it hasn't profited us at all. Right. So we must come back to keeping God's commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.